enormous amount of money and the tens of millions or maybe hundreds of millions to Black Lives because Matter. Because they're weak. Which is all over a lot of these sure. protests. That's so what does that mean about these corporations? Why are they paying that money out, Mr. Because President? Because they're weak people, led by weak people in many cases, not all corporations. What does that so mean, they're weak I looked people. at numbers where one company is giving hundreds of millions of dollars. When you say they're weak, what do you mean? Explain because that. they just do what's the easiest path. That's not the easy path. That's a very dangerous path. Black Lives Matter is a Marxist organization. You remember pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. That was the first time I ever heard of Black Lives Matter. I said, that's a terrible name. It's so discriminatory. It's bad for black people. It's bad for everybody. And all of a sudden, it becomes like sort of, although now, if you look, it's going way down because people are tired of this stuff, what's going on, the Black Lives Matter. If you look at what's going on with the bats and the there are a lot of thugs. Running through thuggery. D.C. last night. Oh, it's terrible what's going on. What the black community wants in this country is they want police and they want law and order. They don't want what's happening to their communities. They're being affected in a much harsher, meaner manner than anybody else. That includes Hispanics, where I'm doing very well also. So acknowledging Black Lives Matter is uh, weak. So helping out Black Lives Matter is weak. You know what's weak? Defending Kyle Rittenhouse, the 17-year-old fan of yours who murdered two people, that might be weaker just because you want to pander to your base, or getting thin-skinned and touchy about arguments. He tried to sue Bill Maher because he compared him to an orangutan. He has threatened litigation against his college and high school if they ever release his transcripts. That's pretty weak, dude. Shouldn't you be able to take anything? No, but he's calling these corporations, which I hate that they're filling the void for the government here, but he leads the government, so that's part of the problem, by donating all of the, this money to Black Lives Matter. Um, the fact that the government is too pathetic and weak it's, and it's in itself to solve this on their own. We have to rely on like Nike and Pepsi and Bank of America, these organizations that are donating tons of money to Black Lives Matter. That's a reflection on your weakness as a president. But of course, he never sees it that way because he can only see himself as the center of the universe and thus godlike. <laughs> the president's comments came as protests in Portland, Oregon and Kenosha, Wisconsin have grown violent in recent days. An Illinois teenager allegedly shot and killed two protesters in Wisconsin last week. I mean, it was on video amid demonstrations in response to the police shooting of Jacob Blake. In Portland on Saturday, a man was killed amid clashes between right-wing groups and left-wing demonstrators. The man who died has been linked to the right-wing group Patriot Prayer. A suspect in the shooting has not been identified. Trump did not condemn the Kenosha suspect, who was reported to have previously attended one of the president's rallies. Trump instead argued the suspect may have been acting in self-defense, but he had painted other protesters as extremists and attempted to gin up fear about what could happen if Democratic nominee Joe Biden is elected. I don't know how stupid you think the American people are. This is happening when you are elected, when you are the president. How can you create fears about what will happen when Joe Biden is elected when it's happening now under you? I guess his argument is that's gonna spread to every city and oh no, rioting, looting, rioting, looting. And there have been some polls that it, it might be effective. It might be causing Trump's a little bump uh, in the polls, but he's also simu simultaneously arguing that Joe Biden locked up too many people with the 94 crime bill, which is true. The reality though, is that Republicans wanted to make it more draconian. So Biden was to the left of where Trump would have been in 1994 if he were in the Senate or whatever, but still a terrible bill. But then you can't also argue that Joe Biden is in favor of anarchist rioters and looters. It's just absurd. And everyone who sees Joe Biden knows that's the case. Everyone who's somewhat familiar with any aspect of Joe Biden's very centrist, center-right record, especially for a Democrat, they understand that. And so it's silly, but this is... This is who this guy is. I mean, I just said this was another clip from this interview that I had to comment on because there were many gross ones. He went after Cory Booker in this super racist way too, but but this one definitely stuck out to me too. 